why <laughs> this is not working. I really miss my little phone that holder. Yeah, not cute. And now it's probably gonna slide. Hey guys, um, sorry about that really weird intro. I am driving my stepdad's vehicle this week and I am I'm missing my car even with all of its problems. I will say um, he has an Explorer Sport Track. I am loving having air conditioning and I'm really loving the little like USB plug in his um, radio because I can listen to Spotify when I'm in the car. I'm a nerd. Anyway, I wanted to do another um, farmer's market haul for you guys. I know I got a couple um, requests to continue doing the farmer's haul videos because a lot of my subscribers are in Ohio and they don't know what's in season. Um, I actually went to two farmer's markets again this week. Same two. The Bexley Farmer's Market, which if you're in the Columbus, Central Ohio area, it is in Bexley, Ohio, um, every Thursday from 4 to 7. It is on the corner of Main and Parkview. So it's right there in the cor on the corner across the street, um, in the parking lot actually, across the street from Jenny's Ice Cream. Um, there's a Mashi Sushi restaurant there, I believe, and the Rusty Bucket is right there. So without further ado, um, oh... <laughs> The second farm market that I go to is the Smith Farm Market off of Winchester Pike. Um, it's either Columbus or Groveport. I'm not sure which city that actually is, but it's one of those two. And um, they have a lot more variety, and their prices are a little bit less expensive than the Bexley Farm Market, but there's um, eggs at the Bexley Farm Market, which you're about to see, and they're um, is a one particular farm that I really have been enjoying the produce from, and it's the Vanskoy or the Vanskoy farm. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's the info, um, the CSA info that I posted in the last video, the last farmer's market haul. So if you want to look that up, please do so, because literally um, all I've really gotten from there is lettuce and radishes, but they have been so good. Like, I have been craving salads because of their lettuce. So, without further ado, here is my farm market haul. And please excuse my hair, because it is humid as heck here in Ohio, and I didn't flat iron it today. Whoops! Alright, so here's the farm market haul for this week. All the produce, everything that you see here, I spent about $25 on. Um, and that included some of, like, the money that I had to put on the wooden tokens for the Bexley Market last week. So, all combined, it was about $25, maybe closer to $30, but I really, I don't feel like that's the super bad deal. Um, so, first off, if you are on my Instagram account, you already saw these. These are the Farm Fresh Eggs from the OMC, which is Oink Moo Cluck Farms. They're located in Johnstown, I believe. Yeah, Johnstown, Ohio. They were just collected today. And I am loving all the different colors on these eggs. Oh, that's stuck to the sticker. Well, let's not do that. But look at the variety. So they must have a lot of different um, breeds of chickens to get all of these different eggs. This one in particular, I am, like, this is to die for. Look at the speckles on that egg. How freaking cute is that? By the way, do your cuticles and, like, skin crack like that? Because that's awkward. But that just looks so delicious to me. I don't know. I'll be sure to let you guys know what I think after I get the chance to try them. Also from the Bexley Farm Market and from that same um, OMC Farms, I got the apple maple chicken sausage. He was actually grilling this right at his little farm stand area. Can we get this to refocus? No. 
There we go. Alright, so this is the apple maple sausage. This is $6 for this package, which was probably the most I spent for anything. Um, but like I said, he was grilling this right under his little um, tent that he was in. And he let me try a little slice of it. And it was so good. Like, you could taste the apple. You could taste the maple. And really, like, there's nothing bad in it. So we have chicken, apples, um, cane juice. So that's a sweetener. Um, salt, spices, and maple. Like, there's nothing bad going on here. Um, I could do without the evaporated cane juice, but really, like, I don't know. It was really, really good. Probably the sweetness that I liked, but it was delicious. All right, and lastly from the Bexley Farm Market, I got this lettuce. Now, this is red leaf lettuce. Last week, I got the green leaf. I wanted to kind of mix it up and see if there was a difference. Um, the texture of this lettuce is a little bit different, but I'm sure it will still be really good. They grow things hydroponically, so in water. <laughs> and um, the lettuce last week was just super clean tasting. Like, it was really good. All right, everything else I got from the Smith Farm Market in Groveport um, off of Winchester Pike. First of all, can we talk about this green pepper? Like, it's massive so huge and this was only a dollar um they had some smaller ones that i was tempted to get instead but they were a little squishy so i got the big boy um and it was i got um a green pepper last week from the same farm market and it was so flavorful and i normally don't like eating these raw but it was delicious in my salad so i got another got some more cucumber to go in my salad I got some tomatoes to slice up in the salad as well. These are Tennessee tomatoes. I got some stringless green beans. I am going to take some of the maple sausage here that I have thawing in the sink with some green beans and I have some potatoes already and kind of make a little, I don't know, like ham and green, ham, beans and potatoes with chicken sausage. We'll see how that turns out. I got a quarter watermelon. This was only like two or three dollars. Um, the whole watermelon was eight, which yes, is a better deal. But I don't really like watermelon in that that kind of a quantity. So I got the quarter just because I know that I'll eat this and it won't go to waste. I got some cabbage. I am in love, like deeply in love with cabbage. Steaming it with a little bit of vinegar to finish. It is so freaking good. And then I'm also going to make some sauerkraut because, yeah, I'm an old German woman evidently. I like to make sauerkraut. Um, <laughs> case in point, this is the sauerkraut I made last year. This is all I have left. So I definitely need to be making some more because I'm about out. And then as far as fruit goes, I got three different types. I got three of each because, you know, three seemed like a good number evidently. I got some plums. Now, I don't remember liking plums as a kid. I actually remember hating them. I hated when my mom bought them in the spring and early summer because they were so cheap at the grocery store. But I smelled it and it smelled really good and like brought me back to early summer days by the pool. So I decided to give them another shot. Um, I never really liked cabbage or Brussels sprouts growing up, and now they're my favorite vegetable. So who knows? Maybe a plum will be my new favorite fruit. So I got the three plums. I'm going to get those out of there. Three plums. I got some more nectarines because I got them last week, and they were so good. So good. Um, yeah, and they're, two of the three that I got were freestone. I don't know if nectarines are freestone or clingstone like peaches are. Um, but two, the, the flesh came off of the pit very easily, and one was super difficult to get off. But they all three were really ripe. And then I got three Georgia peaches. So not completely local, but let's be real. If you're going to eat a peach, you want a Georgia peach. Am I right? I'm right. So I got the three Georgia peaches, the three nectarines, and three plums as far as fruit go. Um, yeah, so that's my, my little farmer's market haul for this week. I got, I feel like, a lot of stuff for $25, $30. I want to say, now that I think about it, it was roughly like $27. I mean, that's not bad for a week's worth of produce and and eggs and some meat. Like, I feel like 
I did pretty good. The one thing that I am more than just a little bit sad about is the Ohio strawberries. Now, I know that it's early in the growing season, so there's probably not a whole lot of crop going on, a whole lot of supply, um, but there were none. And I was kind of bummed because they had some at the Bexley Farm, they had a lot at the Bexley Farm Market, but they were $2 more expensive for a quart than they were at the Smith Farm Market yesterday. And let's be real here, I can get conventional strawberries like from the supermarket for $2 right now. A dollar, probably. Um, somewhere in that area. So I don't feel comfortable paying 7 $8 for that same quart of strawberries, $5 I can do. So I was going to try to get them for $5 at the Smith Farm Market. It's probably why they were sold out. Um, the ones I got last week were, I believe, South Carolina grown, and they were not really the best things I've ever had. They looked super ripe, they looked super delicious, but when it came down to it, they really weren't that good. So I was very excited to try some Ohio grown strawberries because I was hoping that they would be more of the flavor that I'm looking for, but quite honestly, the supermarket strawberries that I've been getting recently far surpassed the farm market variety I tried. So I will keep you updated. I'm kind of interested about this actually because I would feel like the farm, farm market, I mean, I know they're all grown on farms. I'm not, like, brain dead thinking that Meyers like, cloning strawberries in the back of their store. But you would think that local strawberries from, like, a small farm would taste better. Like, they would have a better variety. I don't know if there's such a thing as heirloom strawberries. I probably sound like the biggest airhead ever right now. All I know is that, to me, they were not sweet, they were sour, and that's not what I look for in a strawberry. It was really kind of depressing. That's all. The end of the farm haul. Ooh, bye!